Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Erica and I make videos all about handbags, lifestyle, beauty, and decor. I would love to have you as part of this community. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and come visit with me twice a week. But without further ado guys, let's get into the video. Roll the clip! <laughs> Welcome back. I am very excited to create this video. I'm excited to create every video. I love doing this. I told you several weeks ago that I would be doing a more detailed review of my Carrollton tote from Urban Southern and that is this video. I was able to carry it for a couple weeks. I feel like I have a really good gauge on this bag. I'm able to provide you with my thoughts, opinions, some pros and cons that I think the bag has and I hope you find this review helpful. It will go in a very typical manner of my reviews in that I will go over general details of the bag, I will model it for you, I'm 5'5 five five for reference, and then I will talk about technology fit, aka what kind of laptops will fit into this bag, if any, and then lastly I will go over the pros and the cons of this bag. And I'll talk a little bit about Urban Southern. I've talked about Urban Southern a lot on this channel, I will link all those videos down below. I can't get enough of this company, so I'll keep that brief. But let's just get into the bag. So guys, if you did not see my what's in my bag, again, I will link that in the description box down below. But this is the bag that we are going to review today. This is the Urban Southern Carrollton Circle Totes in matte black. So really quick details for you. It is 18 and a half inches in diameter. It is four inches deep. And then it has two cutout handles. And within these handles, are magnets for magnetic closure and then this bag comes in three different colors it comes in honey chestnut and again this matte black now there is something very special to my bag which does not come equipped if you just go ahead and buy it off the website as is as is the bag just kind of looks like this it has the cutout handles with the magnetic closure and this is the way you would carry it is with the handles however I did request or ask if they could put a crossbody strap on there for me and a lot of you talked about or asked me how did you get the crossbody strap on there so I thought it would be helpful to include that on this video. So the first and foremost thing I would suggest that you do is follow Urban Southern on Instagram. I will link their Instagram down below. That is usually how I reach out and ask my questions. However, if you do not have Instagram, they do have an email located on their website in the contact us section. I have emailed them too, and I find that both methods are seriously quick. I just happen to be on Instagram far more, which, shameless plug, I do have an Instagram. This is my Instagram. Please feel free to go follow me on my Instagram. I will link that down below too. Um, I would love it if you interacted with me in my stories. I update quite a bit on there. However, I messaged them on Instagram prior to ordering the bag and I asked if this would be an option to put a crossbody strap on the bag because in my opinion, that's what this bag needed was the crossbody strap. I heard back very, very quickly within like the hour and they told me that that would be absolutely no problem. So they went ahead and told me, order the bag in the color that you want and then message us the order number and that is what I did. The sequential order was I asked, I ordered, and then I gave them the order number. From the point of ordering to the bag being at my door, it literally took less than a week. I'm in Northwest Indiana for reference and they are in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, so we're certainly that close and I was so surprised with how quickly I got that bag in. The strap length for anybody interested, I did have that question as well, is 30 inches at its shortest and 54 inches at its longest. This is the same strap they use on their five pocket crossbody bag for anybody that owns that. That's a good reference too. One last thing about the strap guys that I will let you know, this is adjustable, but it is not removable. This strap is here to stay. Next guys, let's get into the modeling of the bag. Remember, I'm 5'5 five five for reference. Also guys, just to know, I do keep it fairly long. Um, I would say almost in the middle between that 30 and 54 inches for that adjustable length. Next guys, let's do the technology test. If you've seen my reviews before, you know it's coming. If not, I test via a 13 and 15 inch laptop. In this case, I will have them in their pouches, so obviously incorporate that. They're pretty slim pouches, so it shouldn't add too much length but 
so you know. So the first one we'll do is a 13 inch laptop. This is my 13 inch laptop. It is in a sleeve, so you kind of see it. It's got a spec case on as well. Let's go ahead and try that in the bag. Um, it fits, there's a little overage as you can see, but if you didn't have that crossbody strap, I can still slip my hand through. And it actually doesn't um, create too much of a weird shape for the bag. It actually fits in kind of nicely. However, I will say there's not too much more room for packing if you kind of want to keep that bag with its shape. So it barely fits, but I, you could use it. Now let's flip it the other way to see if you could fit it in the other way. Hmm. Okay guys, that does fit and actually quite nicely. Um, so that would absolutely be an option and it doesn't create a mishap in shape either. So I'm actually quite pleased with that. That's actually pretty decent. I have not tried it with my 13 inch laptop. So if you are thinking about using your 13 inch laptop in this bag and you need it on the go, this could be an option. Okay, my next laptop is a 15 inch MacBook Pro in a little sleeve. Again, it doesn't add too much bulk or length to the laptop. Let's give this a go. So we're gonna go ahead and slip that in vertically first. Yeah, that definitely has some overage. I could not even slip my hand through if I wanted. Being that I have the crossbody strap on this bag, I could absolutely you know, just kind of stick it in and it would kind of hang over. But obviously it gives this bag kind of a strange shape. It's sort of mishappen. I would say that the 15 inch does not exactly fit. However, I have put my 15 inch laptop in this bag when I was going to a cafe. I don't necessarily mind the overage or the mishappen shape when I carry it. I just really like this bag so much that I just, uh, I dealt with it, but I never tried it horizontally. So let's go ahead and give that a go. Editing Erica here guys. Literally, it never dawned on me to try and place this laptop horizontally in this bag. I can't tell you how many times I've carried this 15 inch laptop in this bag and it literally never, it never occurred to me. So I'm as surprised as you are because it, it only dawned on me while making this video to try it horizontally. Guys, okay. The 15 inch does fit horizontally. There's a little overage that you can see in the handles. However, not too bad. Now again, this takes up a lot of bulk of the bag, but I'm not mad. So if you were to slip maybe a notebook and a wallet in here, this would be a pretty decent like work bag depending on how much or how little you carry. I'm really pleased with this. And again, that shape for the most part stays. Look at that. Okay, all right, I'm pleased. Okay guys. So to the part of the video where I think we all really want to know, the pros and the cons, and again, this is my opinion. So the very first and foremost pro of this bag is that it's 100% full grain leather. You are buying from a small business. You're supporting small when you buy this bag. This is handcrafted in Lancaster, Pennsylvania by a, an amazing team. Urban Southern is fantastic. And they just put so much pride in their bags. You can tell they're made with love. This will last you so many years. It will last you a lifetime. If you have any questions or concerns with these bags, they're the first people to answer right away and answer any, any of your concerns or any of your questions, which I absolutely love. So it's one of the many reasons I love buying from Urban Southern is just, I think you really put a face behind the bag. You're shopping small, this is ethical fashion, it's slow fashion, and that is just something I really, really love about Urban Southern bags. So first and foremost, pro always with the Urban Southern bags. The thing I love most too about this bag, guys, is that this is, in my opinion, the perfect black bag because it is a black bag, so it's that minimal, goes with everything kind of bag, but simultaneously, I think the shape, how it's done with the handles and that cutout with the magnetic closure, I think is it something just so much more. This is, again, it's that minimal, but so stunning and so eye-catching. Like I get, I get compliments on this bag everywhere I go. It's one of those bags that absolutely catches the eye, despite the fact that it's still, in my opinion, very minimal. And I think to be minimal, but also eye-catching is a difficult combo to achieve. And I think Urban Southern has really done that with this bag. I love it. And again, I get compliments 
everywhere I go when I carry this bag. I also just genuinely love the size of this bag. If you want something smaller, but the same like, the same look, they have the Brit crossbody to check out so it's on a smaller scale and that actually does come with the crossbody strap whereas this one again does not unless requested. So, but again, I'm a big bag kind of girl. I love, love, love big bags. So for me, this was great. It holds all of my stuff. It even holds my laptops, as you can see. And I just, I'm a huge fan, huge fan of the fact that this is just bigger and I just, I don't feel like I have to sacrifice anything when I carry it. It is one of those bags where I'm not laying out all my stuff and thinking, hmm, what do I have to eliminate? This is not that bag. You can put so much in this bag. With that being said, I also understand that big bags can tend to be very heavy or feel very heavy, especially 100% full grain leather. We all know these bags tend to be very heavy. My Urban Southern Work Tote is over three pounds. It's heavy. This bag though does not feel heavy. It's light and when I do carry it with a lot of stuff in it, I don't feel uncomfortable when I carry it. I do carry it via the crossbody strap though guys. If I was only carrying this bag with all of my stuff via the handles, I don't think I would like it nearly as much. However, I absolutely love the added crossbody strap. I think that that definitely changes the game of this bag. But again, if I didn't have it and it was toting around all my stuff, I think that'd be a different story. But because I have it, I've actually gone shopping all day with this bag. I actually filmed it, please check it out. It's in the description box down below, the shop with me video. I carried this bag around all day, had all my stuff in it, including my camera equipment. Uh, when I wasn't vlogging, I put the camera back in my purse and I had no issues. I literally carried it into every store all around and it never bothered me. I will say this about the cutout handles though, guys. I do think they're very comfortable and something I really like about that in conjunction with the crossbody strap is when I go to take that crossbody strap off, so I go to take the bag off of my body, I like that the fact that there are handles in order to help me do so and then maybe put it uh, like to the side in my car. I actually have a couple bags where they're just crossbody and they don't have a kind of handle or top handle and I hate grabbing it by the body of the bag like so. So I do like the handles for that reason in conjunction with the crossbody strap. So when, for example, I am taking this bag off my body, I like to take it off like this and set it next to me via the handles. I think that is really nice. Leading into our next point is that in the handles is that magnetic closure. I love the magnetic closure. I don't think it's nearly as secure as say a flat bag with a buckle or a zip bag. However, I do find that my stuff is fairly secure. I've never had it where things fall out. So I do like that there is some sort or form of security and closure to this bag. And I like how it's just very like disguised and minimal. And they're not so strong where it's a nuisance to get it unbuttoned or undone, but they're strong enough wherein they keep all of your stuff safe and secure. A final pro for this bag, guys, in conjunction with the fact that it's full grain leather, is I don't feel like I need to baby this bag. I really don't. I just think it's so durable, it's so strong, I know what it's made out of, and I feel like I can really use it versus some of the bags where, yes, they're masterpieces, but simultaneously I must baby the masterpiece. This is a masterpiece for which you do not have to baby, and I really do enjoy that. And I will say that the leather does keep its shape fairly well. I'm on the fence with the shape. I do think it keeps its shape fairly well. However, in certain circumstances, it wavers, which will lead us into now the cons of the bag. So the first and foremost con of the bag, guys, is that there's no feet. I prefer feet, I've said that before. There is none, although I feel like it would be very difficult with this bag. And again, for the fact that it's full grain leather, I kind of let that slide. I've said that before in my reviews that again, because I don't have to baby full grain leather nearly as much as I have to, you know, baby some leathers, I do without the feet. The next con of this bag, guys, and again, I'm kind of on the fence about it because it depends on how you carry it. Because in certain circumstances, it keeps its shape perfectly and then others it doesn't. Now when you are carrying it by these handles, it keeps its shape phenomenally. No matter how much stuff you have in it, it always keeps the shape, which I absolutely love. But there are different circumstances where I feel like it tends to lose its shape a little bit. For example, if you put it crossbody and you have a lot of stuff in it, it tends to bunch a little bit or it just looks a little mishappen and misshapen, 
which is, it's not a huge deal, but again, crossbody, it tends to lose its shape. Now I understand that the crossbody is an added feature because I requested it. So I deal with it because I do like carrying this crossbody. I understand that because of the fact that it's, it's larger and it's not the most structured leather I've ever had, it will likely lose its shape. So it's something that I don't, it doesn't bother me all that much, but for some it might bother. But again, if you carry it by the handles like the bag comes, it does not lose its shape. Now when you set the bag down, I'll show you an example. When you set the bag down, it's hard to see in this light but it does kind of tend to crease down at the bottom, especially when there are a lot of things in it. This definitely tends to crease. So again, are those the two biggest issues? Not really, it's, at least in my opinion. Are they deal breakers? By no means. However, it could bother some and it's definitely something to point out. Now the biggest deal breaker in my opinion with this bag would definitely be the fact that as it comes without the crossbody strap, I probably wouldn't have ordered it. I don't like the idea of something this large only carrying it by your hand like this. It is comfortable, don't get me wrong, there are times where I've carried it sparingly by its handles in certain circumstances and not for very long. But overall, I use the crossbody strap qu like quite a bit. So for this particular bag, is that a con? No, but as it comes stock, without the crossbody, I don't think I would have bought this bag. Now, the last con for this bag is the fact that it has no sort of organizational pockets. That's something I did not show you in this bag. It is unlined, there are no pockets inside. I do like pockets, I like, uh, you know, organization that's kind of built into the bag. This one has none. I do wish it had at least maybe something on the inside, like an inside slip pocket but unfortunately it does not. I do think it's like the, the last con I can point out for the bags that if you are looking for internal organization, at least somewhat with at least a slip pocket, you will not find it with this bag. Hey guys, I wanted to mention one particular con that I didn't mention in this video. As much as the shape is absolutely stunning and I do think it's what makes this bag so unique, I do think it can lend into the potential problem of organizing this bag. This bag does not allow for a bag insert and unlike rectangular or square bags that lay flat, uh, this bag is curved on the inside. So you're not able to put the insert in and this bag just, your things just don't rest flat like they would on a typical bag. So while it doesn't necessarily bother me and I still keep my things pretty much organized with pouches and things like that, the pouches don't particularly lay flat in the bag and sometimes it just kind of feels like it's slushed around. Again, if you're one of those people that really likes their bag inserts, this might not be the bag for you. That ends my pros and cons section of this review. I hope you found them helpful. So guys, lastly, let's talk a little bit about Urban Southern. I absolutely love this company. I've talked a lot about them, so I will keep this very brief. Urban Southern is a small company driven mostly by women out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. They represent small business and they have an emphasis on slow and ethical fashion and they really, really focus on high quality. Something I love so much about their bags is the fact that if you have any questions, you can always ask and I feel like buying from them, you really do get a masterpiece and you can just feel the heart behind these bags. And again, I just can't stress their customer service is just absolutely phenomenal. I've loved working with them in any question, any circumstance that I've had where it arises that I need to speak with them about something. They are so quick to respond and I just truly enjoy them. And I can't, I, I, I just can't emphasize them enough. I really do love Urban Southern. So I highly recommend, if it's not this bag, there might be another one for you, go check out their website. I will leave it in the description box down below. But anyway guys, I hope you again found this review very helpful. Um, please let me know if you decide to purchase this bag and will you get it with or without the crossbody strap? Therein lies the question. And last question. I feel like there's a lot of questions today. What videos would you like to see from me? I would love to know. But anyway, guys, remember life is short by the bag. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.